Hey, what is up guys? MLT Magic Tricks here. So in this video, I'm going to be performing, then teaching you this really great no setup card trick that will definitely get great reactions from all of your spectators. So I do recommend you stick around to learn this one, but really quickly before we get into this performance, if you are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe with those post notifications on for more card and magic trick performance and tutorial videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and leave in the comment section below what type of tricks you want to see me teach on the channel in the future. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into this performance. Okay, so this is a no setup trick. So I would start off by having my spectator just shuffle up the cards as much as they want to. Now, guys, for this performance, I don't have a spectator here with me. So I'm going to be playing the role of both the magician and the spectator. And everything will make sense in this performance for how the trick works. So at this point, after my spectator's done shuffling, I would tell them to cut less than half the deck. It can be, you know, right around a third or even less if they want to. It's kind of, you know, basically up to them. So let's say my spectator cuts, you know, this amount of cards right here. Now, we are only going to be dealing with the pack of cards that my spectator cut. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get, risk, get rid of the rest of the deck. Now, from here, my spectator can just shuffle up these cards if they want to. It's up to them. Now, um, the magician would ask for the cards back. And the magician is going to show these cards face up one at a time to my spectator and I would tell my spectator to memorize one of these cards and they not only need to memorize the value and suit of the card um, they need to memorize the position as to where the card is so guys we're going to do this part together it will make sense here so the magician is going to be dealing these cards face up one at a time just like this and we're going to go ahead and choose one card together to focus and memorize on so let's say we choose this card right here in the eighth position. We have the nine of spades. So we have the nine of spades in the eighth position here. And keep in mind, the magician is not going to actually know that. So we're just going to go through and deal the rest of the cards like so. Because the magician's not going to know ultimately what card my spectator focused on. So at this point, the magician's going to hand the deck of cards to my spectator. And they are going to deal cards to the bottom of this pack. And the number that they're going to deal is corresponds to the position as to where their selection was in the original pack. So we had the nine of spades in the eighth position. That means my spectator is going to deal eight cards to the bottom of the deck. It's really simple. And guys, when you're performing this trick as a magician, you can go ahead and turn around for this part. You do not need to see how many cards your spectator is dealing to the bottom. So in our case, we're going to deal eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once the spectator's done, the magician's gonna turn back around and now grab the pack. So from here, what I'm gonna do, guys, is go through this uh, deck of cards, this little pack that we have here to myself, and I'm gonna try and find a card that really speaks out to me. And I'm ultimately gonna try and find my spectator's card. So keep in mind here, if I was really, if I really was performing this, I would not see uh, you know, my spectator selection. I would not know the position of it, but just by going through the cards, one card specifically, kind of right here in the middle, really spoke to me. And you guys will see that this is not just any card. It should be my spectator selection, the nine of spades. So guys, this is the card trick. And keep in mind, just remember, um, when you are the magician in this trick, you are going to be uh, you know, turned around for the part where your spectator is dealing cards to the bottom. You are not going to see what their selection is or the position of it at the start. So if you guys want to learn how to do this amazing, no setup, self-working style card trick, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so I hope you guys liked that card trick and I hope that performance made sense. If it did not, do not worry. Everything will make sense in the tutorial for how this card trick works. And I really like this one because it's not too difficult to perform. All you need to do is memorize some steps and you'll be good to go. And all you need for this trick is a deck of cards. You can use a borrowed deck. Uh, and you can start off by having your sh uh, spectator shuffle up the cards. Once again, this is a no setup trick. Now from here, once your spectator's done shuffling, you're going to ask them to cut about a third or less from the deck. They're going to cut, you know, a third from the deck or even less because you do not want them to cut too many cards um, because it makes this trick a little bit more difficult. And if they're cutting like three quarters of the deck, it just really, it does not make the trick practical. So make sure you have them cut a third or less and um, like I said, the smaller the better. So let's say your spectator cuts just this amount of cards right here. This is perfect. This is a good amount of cards or even less will work great for this trick. So once your spectators cut their packet, you're gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of the deck. You do not need this for the rest of the trick. You're just going to be dealing with this packet of cards that your spectator cut. Now from here, you need to go into this trick 
with what I like to call a key number. And now I have this uh, note card here with a little bit of writing that says the key number needs to be less than the amount of cards that the spectator cut. And I have a star and then the number five written here. So what I mean by that is you need to go into this trick with a key number that represents a position in this pack of cards. Now, this key number needs to be less than the amount of you know, cards that we have here. So obviously five works perfectly and every single time, you know, I would just go into this trick with the key number five memorized because your spectator is not going to deal, I mean, not gonna cut five or less cards 99% of the time. So this is a very safe bet for a key number. So just go ahead and stick with five. Now I'm gonna keep this note card here uh, because I'm gonna be writing down some numbers a little bit later. So just remember that key number, uh, go ahead, can go ahead and be five every single time. So with that number in mind, here's what you need to do. So you're gonna tell your spectator, you're going to show cards face up one at a time from this pack of cards, and you're gonna tell them to memorize a card in the position. So we're gonna go ahead and do this together. So you're gonna be showing cards one at a time, just like this, and you need to count these cards in your head as you go. So you're just gonna be showing your spectator cards. They are gonna focus on one and memorize, memorize it in the position. You're obviously not gonna know which, but this is an important step what you need to do. So you're gonna go through, this is four, this is five. After you've dealt five cards or whatever your key number is, you need to set this packet of cards down. So the key number in this case was five. I'm gonna go ahead and set down those five cards. You're just gonna keep going. You're gonna act like you're just dealing those cards down casually. Your spectator's not gonna think really anything of it. Now you still need to keep your count. So you're at six, seven, eight. You're just counting this in your head, nine, 10, okay, let's say your spectator wants to memorize the 10th card in this case. So they're gonna memorize the 10th card, and it, in this case, it is the two of clubs. So your spectator, this is going to be their card that, they mem um, that they're memorizing. You're obviously not gonna know that. And guys, it, it does not matter if they memorize the card out of the first five, or even if they memorize the card that's at the position of your key number, it does not matter. Any card they memorize works for this trick. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You need to deal every single card and you need to just count in your head how many cards you have total. That is very important. So we have 17. This, at this point, guys, you're good to go. Once you have memorized um, the amount of total cards that you have in this pack, you're just gonna set them down. So we have a pack of 17. In this case, my spectator's selection is the 10th card and it is the two of clubs. So from here, you're gonna hand the deck over to your spectator and you're gonna tell them to deal the uh, cards to the bottom and the amount of cards they deal to the bottom is going to correspond to the position of their card. So in this case, our spectator's uh, card is in the 10th position. They're gonna deal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 cards to the bottom. At this point, guys, when your spectator is doing that, you can turn around. You do not need to see how many cards your spectator dealt to the bottom. Now, here is, this is a, you know, basically a self-working card trick, guys. It's, it's really great because all you need to do is now subtract the total number, we have 17, from your key number, minus five, equals 12. And now every single time the spectator's uh, card will be, in the 12th position in this pack. So we're gonna go through here, just, we're gonna, and this is a demonstration, so you're gonna go count in your head. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Guys, check out the 12th card from the top of this pack is going to be their selection, the two of clubs. Now, you can go about this in a couple ways of revealing the card. So obviously, you're gonna be kind of doing some small talk with your uh, spectator while you're doing this uh, you know, mathematical calculation in your head. So you're gonna think, okay, total number of cards, we have 17 minus five, which is our key number, which it just makes it easier if you go with the same key number every single time you perform this trick. 17 minus five is 12. Okay, now I know my spectator's card is in the 12th position. So. You're gonna kind of spread through here. You're gonna tell your spectator, okay, I'm gonna try and find a card that's calling out to me. What I like to do here easily, you just count off in blocks of three. You're going three, six, nine, boom, 12. You know this card's gonna be your spectators. You're just kind of spread through all of them if you want to. You can say, okay, one card from the middle of this pack was really speaking out to me and check it out. This card should be your selection. Your spectator will be completely confused because guys, you did not know what their card was. You did not know the position of it, but 
If you follow these steps and all you need to know is the total number of cards in this packet, you have your spectator. Um, remember guys, that, after, that important step is where they deal cards to the bottom that corresponds to the position. And then at the end, you do your little calculation, total number minus key number equals a number. And then you go ahead and find their card that it will be in the position from the top of the deck. So in this case, it was 12. You go to the 12th card from the top in our case, and you'll, their uh, selection will be there. So that is basically the trick, guys. Go ahead and rewatch any parts of the tutorial you need to in order to understand this one. Once you memorize the steps, it's really not too difficult. Go ahead and play around with it a little bit. And also, when you reveal the card, so we had it in the uh, 12th position in our case. So what you can do is kind of you, can, you locate it 12, and you can just take off a couple cards near it. You can have your spectator cover up two with their hands. Let's say they go like this. You do Magician's Choice. Uh, you're, you tell your spectator if they cover the two ones that aren't their selection, you say, okay, go ahead and get rid of these two, and you'll be left with their card. Or if they do this, you can say, okay, keep your hands here. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Lift up a hand. Let's say they lift up this one. Boom, their selection. Let's say they lift up this one. Get rid of it. And every single time, you'll be left with their card. So you guys play around with it. Um, this is a great trick. I hope everything I explained made sense in this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, guys, that's going to do it. Make sure you go in with the key number every single time memorize. You, you make sure you, you clearly explain the instructions to your spectator because they do need to memorize the position and the suit and value of their card. And uh, they are going to be have their little step where they deal cards to the bottom that correspond to the position. But once you, you, know, you practice the steps, you memorize them, you ex clearly explain them to your spectator, this trick will work all the time. So I hope everything I explained made sense. Um, I'm going to end it off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming soon. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.